Hi, I'm Evan Pantazzi. Today we're going to be talking about Udin and Arashi. This is a hard word to say, but it's an easy target to accomplish. Again, in from Ohan Sokin's notes. Now, this is a target on the upper arm, and it's listed as a fainting target. So why is it that we can cause an unconsciousness with an arm attack? And it's because of the nerves and, more importantly, the blood vessels. Now, the nerves are going to cause a direct stimulation, which is going to cause the uh, person to lose all motor skills. The blood vessels are what's going to make the person faint. Now, I should uh, recap that because if you struck the nerves well enough, what's going to happen is the person jolts forward, the neck jars and whiplashes, and that can cause unconsciousness from the attack on the uh, RAS or the reticular activation system, your sleep centers of your brain. So when we're doing this attack, we can cause this unconsciousness or fainting in two different ways. And we're going to describe how to attack to get both structures, both the nerve structures and the blood vessels in conjunction and separately. Uh, well, and not separately because the blood vessels, you're going to be attacking the nerve structures as well as the blood vessels. So just the nerve structure we can attack and we can attack both structures at the same time, as well as go into something a little bit more involved, where we attack not only the somatic uh, systems, but the autonomic systems. And the autonomics are your automatic functions in your body of respiration, digestion, um, everything like this. So what we're doing uh, with this attack, uh, we'll be utilizing uh, the, the blocking action of a chudan block. Okay, or Chudan Uki. And that's going to cause the attack. And we're going to modify that slightly from how they're taught in martial arts, typically, where you're coming across with the arm. We're going to uh, focus just a little bit more to attack both of those structures to cause the unconsciousness in the arm. There's another target that we're going to be using um, next time that also causes unconsciousness, also in the arm. So stay tuned for both. In the extended versions, you're going to see the anatomical uh, research, and you're also going to see the demonstration and the unconsciousness involved.